WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. Two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets hanging around positive territory right now. S&P is up by 20 points, trading at 29.39. Dow Jones up 165, trading at 26,510. It's about 500 points above where it was trading at last night in the futures market. NASDAQ up 44 points, trading at 79.47. Gold contract trading inversely with the market. Gold negative $10.90 at 15.02 on the dot. Had been under 1,500 at one point. Notes and bonds, we have some lower price and higher yield. The 10-year negative 16 ticks. At 130.24, the 30-year negative a full point and five ticks at 162.13, and the dollar index off almost 500 ticks, negative 482 at 98.633. We'll start things off. We're going to start it off with a chart of that 10-year, 1.64 percent the yield on that 10-year. You back things up just to Sunday night, we had a 1.54. So you're talking about a tenth of a percent, basically overnight higher price. Uh, excuse me, higher yield in that 10-year. Jumping over the market, we'll start it off with the Dow. Quite a pop. As I mentioned, we were basically at about 26,000 overnight last night. Things looked bleak for the communications between U.S. and China. But as reports continued to surface, you got a tweet from President Trump at just prior to 10 a.m. this morning saying that he will be meeting with the vice premier tomorrow. The market actually made it up to 26,558, almost 100 points off that level of 26,461. There's your NASDAQ 100, trading at 77.47, had been as high as 77.85. S&P's 2939, made a high just after 11 a.m. of 29.48. There's your gold contract, actually dipped down to 1496.60, back above 1500 at 1501.78. Natural gas, we got inventory numbers at 1030, 98 billion cubic feet, pretty much right on target of what they were expecting for the estimate. And that spiked to a high of 226, but natural gas approaching the lows 222, cheaper natural gas. And crude oil, $53.41. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, I mentioned it last hour, Delta Airlines out with their earnings, actually spiked down to 5107. Then it's been clawing back some of those losses. You zoom in a bit. That was right at basically 9.50 a.m., $52.54. Delta still down about 2.5%. Stay tuned, folks. we got a man Dave White coming up right now at the Power Trading Hour and Tom O'Brien live at 3 o'clock. Markets in positive territory. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.